What's up guys, Codeforge here. Today I would like to show you how to build and deploy Angular application on the Tomcat web server. First of all, we want to download the Apache Tomcat web server. So from the page tomcat.apache.org slash download, we want to download the version 9.0.31. So we click this targz extension we want to download. We select save file and we click OK. Right now it's on our disk, so let's go to the downloads directory and over here we want to extract our web server. So let's move it. So we will say move to and we want to go to the programs directory and we click select. Okay, so let's navigate to the programs directory and it's here. Now let's build our Angular application. So I am here in the score counter no ngrx project. So let's list it. It looks like this. We don't have the dist directory which should be here, but it will appear after building our application. In the first place we have to install all the dependencies. So we say npm install and it will take few minutes so I will stop the video and start again when it will be finished. Dependencies have been installed and we can check it out by listing content of our project directory and you can see that the node modules directory is here so it is good to go. Now we can build our application and to do it we will use angular CLI so we say ng build we will also use two flags. First one is dash dash prod and second one is dash dash AOT. By using those two flags our package will be optimized for the web deployment and it will be also smaller. And one more flag which we want to use is dash dash base dash href and we want to set it to the name of our project and you will check it out later what why we're we doing it. So score counter no ngrx. Now we have to hit the enter button and after a few seconds our application will be built. So I will make a cut. Okay, our application is built. Now we can list the content of our project directory and we can see that this directory appeared and this is our deployment package. So let's deploy it. We go to the repository directory to our project and over here in the disk directory we can find the score counter and this is what we want to copy so we hit ctrl c we go back to the home and to the programs directory over here we want to go into the apache tomcat directory over here we want to go to the web apps directory and here we want to deploy our application score counter. You remember that when we were building the application we used this command over here and as the base href we have provided score counter no ngrx and it should be the name of the directory and our directory is the score counter so we have to change some things inside of our deployment package. So we have to go to the score counter and here we have the index.html file. We have to open it with the text editor. So let's say we want this one and we want to say select. And over here we can see this base href and we should change to the score counter and save the file. So we can close it right now. Before starting the server, let's also define a user which will have access to the web GUI of the Apache Tomcat. So in the Apache Tomcat directory, in the conf directory, we want to open the Tomcat users.xml and we want to open it using the text editor. At the very bottom of this file we can see there is commented section and we have some notes. So the no user is included in the manager GUI role required to operate the manager HTML web application. And this is what we want to enable. So we'll copy this row over here and we'll paste it. 
and we will change the name of the user to Tomcat and password we want to change the Tomcat also you of course don't want it to be the same as the username and the last thing we have to change over here is to set the role so it was manager-gui now we can save this file and close it now we can start our web server so let's navigate we want to cd to the home directory and then we want to go to the programs this was the apache tomcat and we want to navigate to the bin directory let's list the content and over here we can see that there is the catalina.sh uh, file which we want to use so we say dot slash catalina sh and you want to say to start and it appears that we don't have the java okay guys i have installed java so we can give it one more try so we say dot slash and we want to use catalina dos sh start and after a few seconds we can see that our tomcat server started so let's open it up in the web browser I have opened a web browser at the local host port 8080 and this is where our Tomcat landing page is living. Over here we have manager app button which we click and over here we are being prompted for passing the username and the password and this is why we have defined this Tomcat user to access this manager app. So we say Tomcat with the same password, we don't want it to save it and we are over here. Here is our application score counter which we can access and when we click it we are being navigated and it looks like it's working so let's try it out. We can increase and decrease the score and we can also reset it. This is basically how you can build and deploy your application on the Tomcat web server. So I hope you like it because it's pretty easy. One thing I don't like it is this URL. I don't know why it looks like this, but let's try to fix it. In the first place, let's stop our web server. So we use the catalina.sh stop. And now we can navigate to the web apps core counter. And over here, we want to open the index.html with the text editor. Clearly we can see that I have deleted quotation mark over here and we should also add the slashes at the beginning and at the end. This will be definitely more accurate so we can save our index.html and close it. We can start our server again so we want to execute start. Let's try it again. We are on the local host port 8080. We click manager app. We provide our user and password super secure. And we want to navigate to our score counter application. It looks definitely better right now, right? As it should. And application also works okay. So yeah. Okay guys, this is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And if you want to check out how I am creating this Angular application, you can see it on one of my videos. So see you next time.